This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Welcome back, one and all, to Valdemar's playthrough, Middle Earth. I am playing as Farron again. We have joined ourselves in the Citadel. Last episode, we killed a troll, many, many goblins with the infinite, infinite ammo we were given by the famous goblins because they knew where to find ammo anywhere. Anyway, let's get going. You journey to the Citadel to fight the creature. Stay with us! For a second, I thought those were orcs. And then I realized those were the Elrond brothers. Ugh, excuse me. Just, ugh, just uh, gassy right now, I guess. Or something. Must have been something I ate. Well, that that's perfect for a dwarf player such as myself. Alright. Creepy atmosphere. Remember when I first saw this, I, I thought we were in Mordor. You know, it looks just like that type of setting, but it's not. It's just in the middle of nowhere. Can we break this down? No, we cannot. You have tricked us, door, this day. You shall rue it for next time. Alright, anything here? Nope. Okay. No secrets? What, you want us to go first? Fine. out there invaders how many not many but they freed the eagle fools now our presence here will be revealed is this the best your rabble can do they must be great warriors bloody handed elves or some of those filthy tarts. i don't care find them and kill them call out your guards don't let them escape Call my guard and be quick about it! Kill the intruders! Hold on, we'll help you! No, we must not allow Agendauer time to escape. Go on, we'll deal with his guards. Huh. Okay, defeat Tharzog and his guards. A chieftain of the Orcs of Mount Gram. Chieftain, huh? Good. I'm tired of dealing with lackeys. <laughs> that sounds like a dwarf thing to say. Alright, let's go toe to toe, Orc man. Oh, wait, you're not even a uh, man. That's the whole point, isn't it? I do need some healings. <laughs> I can shoot you through you. That's what L's are good for. Shooting through them. Okay, I'm full now. I can help again. Bam. Hoo-hoo. Let's go! Oh! Oh! That's smart. Oh, sorry I haven't been talking much. I'm just trying to... Just trying to kill these guys and uh, just not paying attention. Um, so I've been enjoying this game so far. I'm uh, too bad I didn't give it give as much praise. I mean, it's not anything that's groundbreaking, but you know, for a good uh, multiplayer uh, action hack and slash, which there's very, really very few of those, you know, out there. If you actually look, I mean, Dynasty Wars is like one of them, and that one's fun in its own sense, but it does get quite repetitive after a while. You're just like, man, I just. I just want to play something else, dude. Not that I don't enjoy it, it's just, you know. But uh, it's nice to it's nice to have the Lord of the Rings uh, name kind of be uh, 
used for like different things once in a while. In this case, you know, we're seeing a uh, an optional other group, you know, because you know there's other people in the world other than uh, you know Elrond and uh, you know Aragorn and the Hobbit folk. Although they're they're the important characters, sure, but. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's nice to just see what other people did during that. You know, what what could possibly happen? Obviously, that wasn't really talked about by Tolkien or anything. But, but uh, you know, with with these IPs and the ability to do other things with them, it's nice to see them being used for other things. Although, you know, would have would Tolkien have liked his work to be have been used by like this? It's hard to say. All right, Tharzog looks like he's pretty close. Maybe help the uh, lady out. Oh, <laughs> help me, help me, wizard! Ah, oh, no! Come on, get me up, get me up. There you go. <laughs> yeah, bow down. Looks like he wasn't too difficult, just, you know, pretty much just take advantage of the, the ability to, like, duck and weave. Obviously, I wasn't paying attention, so he knocked me out, but, uh, you know, if you don't follow my lead, folks, you'll be fine. Quickly, we must follow after Eladan and Elro here. They may need our aid. Aw, I was going to get myself some healing goodness, but I missed out on that. So not not too bad of a boss, you know. He's tough, but uh, nothing he can't handle. Not at this level anyway. I did fall technically, but in this game, unless everyone dies, there's it's not really a game over. So technically, I haven't lost yet. So you can can't laugh at me for that. But yeah, I've heard this game goes way farther into the north in terms of a uh, story. So oh, cutscene time. You should have fled Middle-earth with the rest of your cowardly kin, while you still had the chance. We flee from nothing, least of all you, lackey of Sauron. Ah! Fools! I am the right hand of Sauron. I will see your precious Rivendell burning, and your mongrel father hauled before me in chains. You will do nothing. Your plots end here. My work is only just beginning. Do you think you two alone can hope to stop me? They are not alone. Don't look for your guards. They won't be coming. Fornost means nothing. You haven't won anything here. He's escaping. I cannot hope to follow him now. But I can. It is no use. He has escaped us for now. Yes, but you cannot be blamed. It was bold of you to go after him alone. Indeed, though perhaps it was not the wisest course. How does he wield such power? He summoned a storm. How can a man wield such power? Sauron is a master of dark sorcery. He has taught these arts to mortals before. It may be that Agandar learned at the hand of the Dark Lord himself. It is not Agandar alone. We battled orcs in the ruins below that cast spells against us. I have fought many orcs in my time, but never any that use sorcery. Until now. This could mean Agandar has passed his knowledge on to others. Even to the orcs. That would be a great evil, even for one such as he. 
What was that creature? What was that beast he made his escape on? I cannot say. I have never seen or heard of its like before today. Nor have I. Perhaps the Dark Lord has bred these creatures as a challenge to my folk. I can only wonder how many of these beasts he has placed at Agendar's command. Now what? If only we could have finished that snake here and now. I have a feeling he won't stay quiet for long. But what now? Where do we go from here? For my part, I would gladly join in the hunt for Agendar. Yet, I have my duty to consider. I must return home to inform Lord Gwaihir of all I've learned here. Gwaihir? And who is Gwaihir? He is the Lord of the Eagles of the Misty Mountains. I am surprised you do not know the name, for he was a friend to your kinsman, Thorin Oakenshield, and to your own lord, Dane Ironfoot. Oh, hi. The King of the Eagles is indeed a revered friend of my people. As his vassal, I am duty-bound to return to him. He must be informed of everything I have learned here. Good luck. Your duty to your people must come first. Good luck to you, Balaram. Yes. Farewell, wherever you fare. Till your airy receives you at your journey's end. My thanks! Commend me to Elrond, your father, and farewell. As for us, I believe we also have a duty to inform our allies of all we have learned. Then we three should return to the ranger camp at Sanford. Halbrod will be anxious for any news we can bring. Agreed. For I, at least, am still under Halbarad's command. Should you find Halbarad has no pressing need of your services, I would urge you to make your way to Imladris. We may have need of your strength and resourcefulness before long. Imladris? I do not know this place, Imladris. Ah, your pardon. You know it better as Rivendell. What are the enemy here? There are still some goblin skulls down below in need of cracking. Shouldn't we deal with them? Goblins are only a threat when they have a strong leader to drive them on. With their chieftain slain and Agandar fled, those few who remain in Fornost will soon fall to squabbling among themselves. And we may find more important tasks awaiting us elsewhere. Very well, let's go. Then we best head back to Sarnford. Farewell for now. And we have done that, so now we leave Farnest, finally. <laughs> that actually took a while. To Sarnford, to the ranger's camp. Let us travel. Well, of course I've done all the critical strikes. I'm just awesome like that. I have received word through the Sons of Elrond and the Wandering Companies telling of your valor at Fornost. You are to be commended for your skill and daring. We may be in danger here. There are so few rangers left here now. It might be dangerous to remain. What if the Black Rider should return? Maybe we should retreat. That would be the wise course if I thought they would return. But I am certain they did not come this far merely to slaughter a small band of Dunedain. No, I will remain here with the few we have left. We cannot hope to fight the enemy, but we still have eyes and ears to gather news of their movements. What should we do? Well then, what should we do? I advise you to make your way to Rivendell. Aragorn will be eager to hear news of Agendar, and he may have other tasks for you to perform. For now, the enemy seems to have turned away from the Shire. The Black Riders? These Black Riders, the Nazgul, they've come a long way from Mordor. Aragorn hinted something big drew them here. Maybe you could tell us more? I do know why they're here, but it is not for me to pass that knowledge on to others. Perhaps Aragorn or Elrond will tell you more when you reach Rivendell. We're on our way. Me? Travel to Rivendell? Hmm. The hospitality of Elrond is legendary. And it's not like I have a better suggestion. Why not? But it's a long road between here and there. We best get started. 
Perhaps there is something you can do for me on your way. You have but to name it. I sent two of my rangers, Kalarin and Lewin, on patrol along the Brandywine River. They should have returned long before now. I am growing concerned for them. They are both seasoned rangers who have served many years in this region. We can be certain they have not simply lost their way. From which direction would they be returning? They were to follow the Brandywine north as far as the Great East Road, and from there to make their way back by passing through the Barrow Downs. The Downs are just north of our position here. Then we'll make our way north by way of the Barrow Downs. Perhaps we will discover some trace of them as we travel. You have my thanks. Eridan has great skill as a tracker. If Lewin and Kalaran made it as far as the Downs, he will likely pick up their trail. Farewell and safe travels to you all. All right, then we we leave ourselves here at Sarn Ford. Let us see if there's any extra stuff to get, and then that way, after that, we shall head off to the Barrow Downs, which in the books hold the ghouls, which also uh, introduced a uh, Tom Bombadil to the books in uh, that part. You're soon to be off again, are you? Well, I have a few things among our supplies that may help you on your way. Perhaps a few extra arrows for your quiver, and a few of Solana's healing drafts may come in very handy as well. Take a look. The Nazgul attack. It was a grim day when those Black Riders attacked. What do you make of it all? Ah, well, I've seen many things in my day, evil in many forms, but I've never seen anything like we faced that day. So many lost. It's hard for an old man to see so many younger men slain. I wish I could. Well, there's nothing to be gained from wishing. We must have revenge. But there is something to be gained from action. We must have our revenge. Revenge? That's all well and good. But those men will still be dead, won't they? Better that we do whatever we can to save others from their fate. Yes, you are right. Aye, you've a good head on your shoulders, but it's not the dwarven way to let a wrong go unavenged. Those men died trying to protect those who can't protect themselves. No one can ask for a better ending. But you, you still live, and there is a long and dangerous journey ahead of you. You must be prepared. Take a look at the stores I have on hand. Show me what you have. All right, let's see if there's anything. I mean, there's always something to buy, but just trying to see if it's worth the price difference to buy it or hold on. So. That would be pretty good. 15 health, and I think the other one's like plus one. Stamina, that would probably, that wouldn't be too bad. Huh. One handed axe. That would be a good one. Ooh, great mace, huh? That one's a little bit weaker, but it gives you fire damage. That's pretty cool. I like that. Might get that. Yeah, let's do that. That that looks cool. Sad thing is I'll probably get like something better like right after we're just like, oh this weapon's better. I'm like, son of a bitch. Holy crap, what is this? Wonders boots? Straight two strength, fifteen. Uh yeah, I've got the money. Let's do it. Let's quit that. Ooh, level up. Excellent. I think that's enough to quit that ring. And then Uh, it looks like my strength is almost better than my range. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. Sweeping. So that one allowed me to... I hold it. Oh, I have to have a sword. Well, uh... Oh, passive health? That would be pretty good, too. Okay, that's the different one of it. Uh, let's go with that. Let's see. So I just have to hold it down when I do that move, huh? Alright. 
And then equipped. Let's see. Let's see if I got any extra things. Yeah, I know this is interesting to watch, folks. I, I know. I know. Well, that's a lot better. There you go. I like that. Let's see, this one's the strength. So that one's just... Oh, that one's power. Uh, yeah, let's go with the dex and enemy mischance. I like that. So that one has health. Keep that. And a couple of slots. So if I actually want to equip something, there you go. All right. Anything to say? Hador? Hador? Ah, Master Farin. It's good to see you back. I thought you'd be on your way back to the Lonely Mountain by now. Man, who could blame you were that so? I'm in this to the end. We dwarves have a saying. Faithless is he who says farewell when the road darkens. I came here to help protect the Shire, and that's what I intend to do still. They say it is hard to change the mind of a dwarf. I, for one, am glad of that. Farewell. I don't need repairs. Farewell, Smith. Yep. Don't need any repairs right now because I unequipped it that one, so. Solana, what do you got? Are you hurt? You look well enough to me. If it's healing drafts you need, you can get them from Maradon. I have a dying man on my hands. What's wrong with him? Oh, he looks terrible. What's wrong with him? Wrong? I don't really know. His wound is minor, yet his life is slipping away. I fear he is suffering from the Black Breath. The Black Breath? The Black Breath? What is that? It is some power wielded by the Black Riders, the Nine Nazgul. Their victims are stricken senseless, and without aid, they soon die. I've already lost three men to this curse. Eleron is the only victim who yet lives. Uh, what can we do? I like how it's just like, a pity, but I must go. I, I must go. Sounds like Shepard. Is there nothing we can do? Uh, I hardly know. Drawing an arrow, stitching a wound. These things I have done countless times. The Black Breath is something I know only from the old rhymes my teacher taught me. What was the rhyme? An old rhyme? Well, let's hear it then. Uh, it was years ago. Let me think. I believe it ran something like this. When the black breath blows, and death's shadow grows, and all lights pass, come a Thalus, come a Thalus, life to the dying. <sighs> That's all I can recall. That's not very useful. <laughs> What's a Thalus? Hmm. What's this a Thalus the rhyme speaks of? An herb, commonly known as King's Foil. It has little medicinal use, though some find it comforting for headaches and other small complaints. Don't you have any? Seems worth a try. Have you no Athalus? No, I have none. You'll have to forgive me for neglecting to lay up a supply, but you see no one bothered to tell me that the Nine Ring Wraiths would rise up from ancient legends to trouble us here. If I had Athalus, don't you think I would have used it by now? Damn, calm down, lady. Maybe I could find some. A Thalus has to grow somewhere. Any chance I could find some before it's too late? Perhaps you could find some at that. The plant is not native to Middle Earth. It was brought to these shores from lost Numenor and planted in the lands where our ancestors used to dwell, including the Burrow Dance to the north. How will I know what it looks like? How will I know a Thalus should I come across it? The plant has many long, smooth leaves. But you might best find it by its scent, a sweet, pungent fragrance. The Barrow Downs hold precious few such plants. <sighs> Great, where ghouls are. All right, if I find it, I'll return it. My road leads to the Barrow Downs. If I find a Thalus growing there, I'll bring some back to you. All right, and you can calm down, lady, too. Jeez. She's just like getting at me for no reason. I was like, dude, I'm just asking a question. You don't mad at me? All right, let's see. That'll take us out of town. Let's see. 
Can I bust this up? No, right. You can't use uh, weapons in a, a nice area like this. All right. Challenge missions. Okay, I don't know what that means, but all right. Anything down here? Well, that's a nice atmosphere. I mean, nice river. Look at that. I guess that's the brandy wine, maybe? But nothing! <laughs> Try to go faster. <laughs> <laughs> My knees! Excuse me. Ugh, just, man, just got gassy all over the place. You know, that's what you people want to hear about. It's about my internal problems. What is all this? Does this have anything to do with anything? It's like nothing's going on. Uh, nothing here. All right, back up. Well, I know this is interesting. Okay, well... Um, just trying to think, uh, so if we had to take place story-wise, we're kind of going a little bit backwards in terms of the book, because they've already, like, the hobbits already went through the Barrow Downs just to get to, uh, the, the city that we had just come from. Now I forgot the name of it off the top of my head, I don't know why. Wow, there's nothing there either. But I guess we're going kind of back a bit. I wonder if we'll run into Tom Bombadil. That'd be kind of cool. He's a he's a neat character in the books. An uh, an eternal being, as powerful as Sauron. But I already talked about that in a previous episode, I think. Sometimes I forget what I talk about at one point or the other. You know, it's easy to you know when you're just rambling, talking about having fun, just walking through. Walking through, nothing going on here, you know, just kind of seeing what you can do. At least it's not raining. Alright, this way leads us out to the next part, the Barrow Downs, where the ghouls lay, and probably goblins and orcs will be there as well. But we shall save that for the next part. I thank you all for watching, I hope I didn't bore you too much, and I'll see you later. Thank you.